The demonstration will begin at 8 a.m. prompt. We are gathering in front of the Labadi Beach Hotel. This is a hotel at the center of this takeover by a cabinet minister. After converging in front of Labadi Beach Hotel at 8 a.m., we shall proceed to the Lapam Royal Beach, which is not far from the Labadi Beach Hotel. As you know, Lapam Royal Beach Hotel is also under auction and about to go. Then we will make our way through the Gifford Road, Elwak, in front of the Elwak Sports Stadium, and then proceed to the traffic light, that intersection, the Lands Commission intersection. We have agreed with the police that at that intersection, we will take a left. The left that uh, will have the cantonment post office on your right, the Jahawalal Road. And then we will walk upwards. You know it is a hilly road. Uh, so we will uh, walk up the hill, uh, proceed through DVLA, as you know. DVLA is on that stretch. We have the parks and gardens also on that stretch. We have the Russian embassy on that stretch. So we will bypass all of those edifices and then we will walk towards the Christ the King Catholic Church. The Ghana Police Service has pleaded with us that they do not want us to get too close to the Jubilee House. We have agreed with them that we will end the demonstration in front of the Christ the King Catholic Church on condition that representatives of His Excellency President Nana Dankwa Akufwado will walk from the Jubilee House and meet us around the Christ the King Catholic Church. We will be seen in our petition that we insist that President Akufwado should immediately stop the sale of our SNIT hotels. We want an immediate declaration from the president because since we started this agitation all the president has done is to ask organized labor to go and meet the employment minister to go and meet the state board at which meetings as organized labor has told us these appointees of the president try to convince them to agree with them for the sale to go ahead so clearly the president and his appointees don't want to stop the sale and we are going to insist tomorrow that the president announces that they are backing out of this unconscionable transaction. We are also demanding that state assets should no longer be sold, particularly the profitable ones. Historically, since 1966, the sale of state assets have not been in the supreme interest of Ghana. We want to conclude by assuring all Ghanaians that this match will be very, very peaceful. You see the honorable citizens who are here. Everybody here is law abiding. This is not warfare. We are only going to present a petition. So Ghanaians who want to join us but are concerned that there may be violence. Please be assured that. What ye Ojumaye near? What were a Busia near Ojumaye near? So, this is a national call. And for us, it's exciting that our MPs are leading this. It's a yearning in organized labor that even SNIT is looked at. If it's the management of SNIT, hey, I mean, let's look at it. Let's look at it and look at how is it that every now and again we have issues with SNIT. And those representatives of unorganized labor, uh, 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 Brother Kumsin is here, he'll tell you. They've been on this case from time immemorial. 
to borrow the Honorable Okujeto's words, you can't do the same thing for so many times and expect different answers. We're just not making progress, I'm sorry, as far as NET is concerned. And recently, some of our colleagues who organized, I mean, you may have heard in the news that actuarians actually calculated something that they were supposed to take home, which in actual fact was far from the case. And so this is a national call for we must be interested because I don't want to work the whole of my how many years over 40 years life and go on retirement and pop up. because it's the age where you need to visit the doctor just like a, a, you know at the geriatric age you need to be seeing your doctor just like a pediatric would have to you know so this is a call for all of us Ghana for mommy and sorry waka mommy and sorry waka because this is not on. It's been said clearly, hands of our hotels, and not just our hotels. All those lands that are being sold, please stop. Why? What do you want? I mean, what do you mean? Hmm? It's funny, I read something on WhatsApp. It said, we struggle the whole of our lives to put together so many houses you know, build, get more money, and then we die leaving all of them. We go with nothing. So if there's so many of us who are hungry, who actually have to go, and I mean, if you look at the market, if you're somebody who goes to market now, both the men and women, and you look at this situation of food on our market, and you take the kind of brothers and sisters thing, 500 600, less than a thousand. What do you do with this kind of money in the market? What do you do with this kind of market? So we're grateful that we can do this. We're happy that we can do this. Now, organized labor is saying hands off our hotels and not just the hotels, but all state assets and properties. Hands off. Now, I want to say a word to the ordinary in Ghana for mummy and sorry. Where a fire home? This is our fight. Most of the time you say, oh, it's them and not us. I'm sorry, this time around, it's all of us. If we're going down, we go down together. If we're rising, we rise together. And